Welcome back to another Habs Nation video with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchie. Everyone seems to agree that Juraj Slavkovsky's first season in the NHL was a tremendous letdown after being selected first overall by the Montreal Canadiens. How does his 0.256 points per game, PPG, compare to the rookie seasons of other top picks from the previous 10 years, even though four goals and six assists for 10 points in 39 games won't get you a Calder trophy? From 2012 on, I only focused on forwards selected in the top three rounds. In his first few NHL appearances, Slavkovsky had one of the lowest point totals per game among the 27 players. Only Quentin Byfield, Sam Reinhart, and Dylan Strome produced less, while Logan Cooley, his teammate from the 2022 selection, has yet to play in the NHL. Although neither Reinhardt nor Strom are still with the team that selected them, they have both developed into highly productive players. The verdict on Byfield is still very much out at this point. On the other side of the spectrum, there are just as many players who had better starts to their careers than Slavkovsky, but could not sustain their development and are now either marginal roster players or no longer in the league at all. Players falling into this category include Nolan Patrick, Nail Yakupov, and a couple of names Canadians fans know all too well, Jonathan Druin and Alex Galchenyuk. The 0.3, 0.4 PPG range is where most picks from recent drafts ended up. This list includes Jack Hughes, Capo Caco, Alexis Lafreniere, Mason McTavish, as well as Slaf's Canadians teammate Kirby Doc. This is the tier I believe Slavkovsky could have easily been in had he and other key forwards on the club remained healthy last season. For full context, the rest of the players we looked at are all established full-time NHLers who project to have long careers. Their rookie year PPG numbers can be broken down as follows. 0 0.4, 0 0.5 PPG, Alexander Barkov, Jesperi Kotkaniemi, Andrei Svechnikov, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 PPG, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Jack Eichel, Nico Hischier, Tim Stutzel, 0 0.7 PPG or better, Matty Beniers, Patrick Lane, Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, Kotkaniemi, another well-known name among Habs supporters, stands out in this case because he hasn't made much progress since his rookie year and seems better suited to be a secondary offensive option rather than the main one. All of this is to argue that your career is not defined by your debut year. Possibly a better first professional season for Slavkovsky? Sure. Could it have been handled differently by the organization? Absolutely. The half season of time he did spend with the Canadians offered him priceless knowledge and a crystal clear picture of the parts of his game that need the greatest improvement. Perhaps some time in the AHL would have helped, and perhaps it still might. He will certainly benefit from a full off-season of training without all the draft year hoopla and reports suggest that big number 20 has been putting in the work this summer with the help of advanced technology to improve his reaction time and decision making. Slavkovsky will surely be better prepared and with a more consistent role on an improved team with better line mates, the sky is still the limit for the top pick of last year's draft. He's been a bit of a forgotten man lately, but with his combination of size and skills make no mistake he is still the most intriguing prospect in the system it would be foolish to draw any conclusions about Slavkovsky's potential after his rookie campaign especially considering he was 18 during the season and it was his first year living in North America if other top picks are any indication we will see quite the rise in production from Slavkovsky for the Canadians in the coming years Thank you to watching another Habs Nation video. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and finally let us a comment about this video. And remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wishes you an amazing, great, and blessing day.